Well, good morning, everybody. Hey, it is Melanie Mitro, and we are live here on my Facebook business page with our Business Tip Tuesday. So it has been a whirlwind of another week for me. I just got back from the leadership event, the Team B20 leadership event that is hosted every single year about this time, and it is for the top leaders in the company that qualify for the event, and it was hands down the best leadership event that I have ever been to. Uh, I really needed it. There are, you know, one of the things that about being a business owner, especially an online business owner, is that we work at home and we work in comfortable clothes and, you know, we're, we're doing our thing online on social media and video chat, but there's just something about getting together in person and talking to other business owners that, that are kind of going through maybe the same things that, that you're going through that just sort of, um, I don't know, it's like reinvigorating. And it's also comforting to know that, hey, you know, you are having the same obstacles that I am having. So let me ask, what are you doing? And then I share what I'm doing. And so it's like you walk away and you're like, I got this, let's go. And so that's sort of how I felt coming out of leadership. But I also felt like I got a good little swift kick in the pants. And what I wanna kinda of talk to you guys about today is something that comes up all the time, no matter what business that you are a part of. It's sort of this like blame game. Um, it's this like owning of your own success. And we're gonna talk a little bit about being busy or productive today. So let me just kind of talk to you a little bit about kind of what I hear on a day-to-day -day basis in life in general. Uh, I have a lot of friends that own companies that don't own online companies that are not part of network marketing, that own brick and mortar businesses, right? And the one thing that I always hear them say is, you know, it is, it's becoming harder and harder to make the kind of money that I want to make. You know, and so I was having this conversation with a friend and we're talking about healthcare. We're talking about the healthcare system. And, you know, he was saying, you know, I have to treat twice as many patients to make the same money that I was before. It's getting harder to submit stuff to insurance you're getting less and less reimbursement. It's becoming smarter and smarter for individuals to be cash visits um, because, but people are so brainwashed into thinking they've got to use their insurance even though they have a really high deductible and it would make money, They it would make more sense for them on their end to pay cash. It's just, you know, so we started talking about this, we started talking about business and we started talking about how he was moving his practice from one location to another and how you literally start at zero. And just because, you know, that individual has a degree, they went to college, they have a certification, they open up shop, they put a sign out there, they advertise, they say I'm open for business, does not mean that his appointment book is full. He now has to go out there and prospect and ask for referrals and get people in the door. And then he's got to provide a good quality of service and hope that those people stay and that refer other people. And then we began to talk about like specialty, right? So even in his practice, he's got this certification but now he's got to figure out what's his specialty, what's his niche, what's his target. Oh my gosh. Like how many of you are sitting here right now going, this is exactly what we do. This is exactly, and he's a business owner that has a degree and student loans out the wazoo, right? And so the more I got to thinking about it, number one, I think our job's really awesome that we get to be online entrepreneurs and we don't essentially have to have a degree. We just have to be really good at pitching to our niche at building a business. We've got to learn the qualities and we get to do it from home. Like I think we got a pretty sweet gig. But the reason why I'm telling you this story is because I want you to understand that you are not alone. You're not isolated. You are not at a disadvantage. You are actually a part of, of a movement, this entrepreneur network marketing movement that is changing the world. But you've got to lean in and you've got to own the fact that just because you paid a sign up fee and you joined a company does not guarantee that you are going to have success. It is going to take work. It is not going to be easy. And if somebody tells you it's going to be easy, they're lying to you because they want you to join their team. They want you to join their organization. Or they say, yeah, this person, this person's gonna burn through their warm market and they're gonna make a whole lot of money 
then I don't care what happens to them afterwards. Just give me, I'll just move on to the next, right? And I do think some people actually think like that. But when you think about being a real CEO, being a real entrepreneur, building a real business, you have to own the fact that you own a business and you have to own the fact that it will always not be uphill, that it will actually be more like this. And when you begin to think like that, when you begin to say challenges aren't happening to me, they're happening to make me better, you start to become an entrepreneur, all right? So here we go, guys. We gotta stop playing the blame game. It is not the company that you are a part of's fault that you are not having success right now. It is not the time of year that is the reason why you're not having success right now. It is not the company or the team that you joined. It is not your upline. It is not even your personally sponsored people that you have in your organization. It is not their fault. Do you know whose fault it is that you are either having success or not having success? Take a look in the mirror right now. That's the person, that's the person. It is your responsibility. You sign the dotted line or you press submit on becoming a business owner for whatever company that you are a part of. It is your responsibility, yours, yours alone. We all have access to the same information. You can find anything, any training to anything that you need to know, whether it is social media or how to build a business either in your online business office on Google, on YouTube, anywhere. You can find everything you need to know. Where the disconnect is, is from the inform from your ability to take that information, to implement it, that's number one, right? It's your own, it's you, it's you. And, and I think six years ago, right, if I rewind six years ago, no social media back or background, no private Facebook, less than 100 friends on Facebook flip phone, I didn't even have a smartphone, I had an old Dell laptop that you had to plug into the wall or it would not work, it had no battery life at all. I had to sit there and educate myself on every product and program that my company put out there because I knew one product, I didn't know them all, I did not how to run online accountability and support groups, but I was willing to learn. I made myself a student, I leaned in and I said if I wanna be if I want to do my job well, I have to learn everything there is to know about the products and the programs and have to know my angle. Did I know how to figure that out? No, but I sort of failed my way forward and I wasn't afraid of it. I also understood that building a business took time. How did I figure that out? Because I read the compound effect. I read the slight edge like my, my sponsor told me to do. I actually read it and then I actually didn't say, oh, this doesn't apply to me. I said to myself, I get it, all right. All these small, little, tiny things I'm doing on a daily basis, the social media posts, the adding contacts, the sending messages, the following up, the my own personal journey, leading by example, all of these things might seem small, they might seem insignificant, but they're gonna pile up and over time are either gonna bring me closer to success, success or further away. I listened to the information that was put out there. Again, I have I have access to the same information that you do. It's just that some people do it and some people don't. I run this 30-day coach training university is what I call it, right? And people join my team and they come in and they tell me these amazing big goals, right, that they want to have, right? And so I have all kinds of different people. I have people that come in and they join and they do the coach university exactly as it's laid out and they achieve their goals and then I have other people that come in and they never get started or they do the first week and then they fall off the wagon and then they ask themselves, well why is that person successful and, and I'm not? And the answer is always the same. I just did what she told me to do. I just followed her game plan. I just actually did it. Most people do not actually do the work. But they're so quick to sit back and blame the company, their upline, the support system, when in reality, you've gotta take a look in the mirror and say, it is my responsibility to be successful in this business. All right, let's take a look at you know people that have been around for multiple, multiple years in the business, right? In any kind of business. If you do not continue to innovate, if you own a brick and mortar business, right, and you don't innovate as the times change, your business will come to a halt 
a stall. You may see a lack of growth. People may stop coming to your business because it's like the same. They're not getting anything new. Um, maybe you, maybe you, when they walk in the door, you're just not as excited anymore. And so you don't bring the energy. You don't bring the energy that actually brought people in in the first place. So they stop showing up. So when I see people that say, I've been doing that business for three years, it didn't work for me. I always have to say to myself, but did you work at it? Did you work to stay consistent? Did you work at your own personal journey transformation? Did you do the right kind of work or were you just being busy? Were you just kind of pretending to do the work but you weren't really doing it? And that's the difference, right? You have got to own your own success. Every company, every business works if you work at it. And so that's the other thing that I really want to talk about today is making sure that you take off the rose colored glasses because social media can be really good at painting a picture of the highlight reel, right? And I would never tell somebody that a business isn't hard work because it is hard work. And so, yes, you can make people think that everything is perfect, that money is going to fall from the sky, that you're not going to have to do anything. It's just going to be there. And guess what? The reality is it still will be work. So make sure you're doing work that you love on a daily basis. Make sure that your mission and what you stand for personally aligns for the business that you promote and the business that you do. And here's the end part of this too, is are you being productive or are you being busy? So many people in my business say, I am working so hard and it's not working for me. I am working so hard and it's not working for me. And I have to lean in and say, okay, what are you doing during the four hours that you are sitting down that you are working your business? Because if you are organizing your desk, if you are getting your new CRM system set up, if you are you know, in a group chat with people that are talking about they're complaining or they're just talking, um, that's not work, right? If you are scrolling the news feed looking for ideas to be inspired, that is not work. That is not work. You are wasting time. If you are not organized, if you don't come into your day with a plan, if you don't set goals for yourself, then you are just aimlessly wandering around hoping that a goal or the success smacks you in the forehead. You've got to take control. A CEO of their business knows exactly what they are working towards. Is it to bring in X amount of new customers? X amount of new, um, you know, enrollments in the business for people working with you. What is it that you are trying to achieve? It needs to be clear as day. So that when you sit down to do your business, you open the lid to that laptop and you look at it, you say, I know that the only thing that matters is if I enroll new customers, I enroll new distributors, is um, I am following up with my current customers so they stay on the product or program. I'm offering quality service and support and I am training and mentoring the people that are my runners in my business. Doing work that matters, that's the work. Everything else is busy work. So at the end of the day, ask yourself, did I move my business forward? And when I say did I move my business forward, not did I post three times on social media, it is did I add new people to my contact list? Did I follow up with people? Did I start new conversations? Did I invite people to join my business? That's the work that matters. Everything else is just busy work. And then go through each day and each week and evaluate yourself. And if the answer is no, I'm not getting new customers, I didn't have any new sales, I didn't have any new signups, then something's off. Something's off about what you're doing and now you've got to take a step back and you have to evaluate yourself. Is my wording wrong? Okay, let me get somebody to read my stuff and see if maybe I can tweak it a little bit. Let me go out there and read a little bit more on social media or not social media, like on on, um, on YouTube. Let me go to the, the Coach Online office and let's see if I can check out some of the resources or some of the trainings that are provided. Can I lean into the skills that I need to improve upon? Right. And so that's really where the disconnect happens is we just go along and we just say, oh, this business doesn't work. But in reality, we're not really working the business. We're just kind of hoping that it falls into place. We're just kind of hoping that people want to sign up and be a part of our organization. 
So that's the most important part is that as you're going through and you are building any kind of business out there, don't waste your time being busy. Be productive. I also want to say hard work does not mean that you have to work 24 seven, you know, 365 days out of the year. It just means that you are purposeful and you are planned with that one to two, maybe four hours a day that you are dedicating to the business venture that you are a part of. It just means that you are purposeful and planned. It also means that you re phrase that narrative. When you start to say it is it is the company's fault or it's my upline's fault or you know it is somebody else's fault that you stop yourself and you say no, I am responsible for my success. What am I not doing? How can I make some small changes right now today to change the narrative in my mind because success is limitless and there are there is more than enough success to go around. You just have to be open to the possibility that success is is possible for you too. I think it's so easy to just safeguard ourselves and play that blame game instead of looking inward and saying, I control the outcome. I can make this happen. And it's okay. We've all been there. We've all done it at one point or another where we have maybe self-sabotaged or, um, you know, have purposefully done things that are going to, you know, keep us from reaching our goals because we're afraid or we're fearful. But now you got to look at those fears in the face and you got to say, I'm owning it. I'm owning it, I'm not gonna apologize for it, but I'm gonna show people by actually making a change, all right? So now, here's my question to you. Are you gonna go out there, are you gonna be busy? Are you gonna be productive? How are you gonna track it? How are you gonna take ownership of your business right now in this exact moment? It's up to you. You decide, you set the intentions, and you go out there and you do the hard work and I promise you, you're gonna be the one being recognized next year. You're gonna be the one standing tall saying, I owned it, success was mine, I took responsibility and take that, all right? So I hope this was a powerful Business Tip Tuesday for you all this week. Please, please, please share it with somebody you think could benefit from this message today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to go subscribe to MelanieMitro.com. Subscribe to my podcast, my mailing list. I send out notifications and updates for any kind of training or business training that I am doing. I'm working on some big stuff for 2018, so I wanna make sure you don't miss out on it. So thanks for the hearts. Thanks for the love, and I hope you have a wonderful week.